everybody, this is Tank and Trucker, and today we're going to do a review of the VK30.02M medium German tank. Um, if you've noticed, I've uh, been kind of on a mission of doing mediums recently uh, for reviews, but that's because I've been doing a lot of mission or uh, playing mediums a lot to uh, try and finish my last mission off the T55A. Um, so, anyways, uh, I ran this. Uh, rascal today and uh, got accused of hacking once again I'm telling you guys it's getting old when people every you know you do good and the, the as soon as you're done with the match you got a message up there from the enemy team somebody you killed uh, accusing you of hacking and sh uh, cheating and all this other crap and it's getting so fucking old it's not even funny at first I wasn't even gonna do show this do this video uh, or use this replay uh, for the review uh, but I figured screw it I'm, I'm just gonna use it I'm just I don't even care so, anyways, what do you get with this bad boy? So, it is a tier 6 uh, medium, like I said. Um, you get 840 hit points, which, that's eh, tier 6. Yeah, it's a medium. That's not too bad, I guess. Uh, it would be nice if you were a brainer. A little bit higher, closer to 1,900. But, you know, that's uh, with a medium, that's kind of what you, you lose a little bit of your hit points. Um, so, armor-wise on this, it's not spectacular. On the front and the hull, you've got 60 millimeters of uh, frontal armor, and on the front turret, you got 100. So your turret's pretty good, and there's some pretty good spaced armor around here, but you got that big old commander's hatch to hit. Unfortunately, uh, even though it's got, you know, not bad um, angling on the, uh, the uh, front uh, hull there, it's just it's too thin. You know, everything overmatches you in Penja. So on the side of your hull, you have 40, and on the side of the turret, you have 45, so nothing spectacular there, and you got to try and really watch letting them hit right in here, because a lot of times if they get shots off in there, they'll end up knocking your engine out, setting you on fire, or ammo racking you. So, yeah, really protect uh, that. That's really thin, easy to shoot there. Uh, it's not a side scraper by any means. Uh, on the back of the hull, um, you have 40, and on the turret, 45. So, again, nothing spectacular uh, armor wise, pretty easy to pen. Uh, if you're able to get hauled down, um, you might block some stuff if they shoot at your, you know, your gun mantle, but normally if you get hauled down with this, they just shoot that big old honking commander's hatch because that's a, it's a big weak spot on this. And so let's go over the gun on this real quick. It's a tier six gun, it's the uh, KWK 42L70, 14.3 rounds a minute. Average penetration is 150 for your standard AP, 194 for your APCR, which is awesome, and 38 for your HE. I love APCR. I say that time and time again. Average damage per shot is 135, so not a lot of alpha per hit, but it makes it up for the, the speed of the reload and stuff. Uh, 175 average damage for the HE. Average damage per minute on the stock, uh, stock setup is 1929. Uh, dispersion is 0.35 and aim time is 2.3. I've got this set up with a gun rammer, gun lane drive, and vents, and 100% crew working on their first crew skill. Uh, that bumps my reload up, or my rate of fire up to 16.9 rounds a minute. My reload time is only 3.5 seconds, so it's got a pretty nice fast reload. Uh, true traverse is 32, and the traverse speed of the hull is 32, so, um... Yeah, you don't have to really worry about getting circle strafed by a uh, real fast scout or light tank or real fast medium. You can keep up spinning with them pretty easy if need be. Uh, gun depression is negative 8 and elevation is 18 uh, to the positive, so that's actually pretty good. You can work ridge lines with this if you need to. Um, that negative 8 uh, with the, one of the, you know, the lower tier tanks is really nice. That way you, uh, you know, you're only exposing your turret a little bit and you can back down and get out of the way. Uh, dispersion with the crew I had, or excuse me, aim time is 1.96 seconds, so under 2 seconds, which is actually really good. Dispersion is uh, 0.33, which is actually very good too, and my average damage per minute with the crew I have is 2,286. Uh, wait, uh, and this is 42.5 ton. You know, you can smack into a, a light tank or a, like a medium tank of equal um size but i wouldn't go smack it into like an oni or oho or anything like that because it will it'll hurt you pretty bad you get a 700 horsepower engine which gives you a 16.47 specific power to weight ratio which is actually pretty good you'll get up to that 55 kph pretty quick and you'll maintain it all right and negative 20 to get you out of a hot spot if you need to back out real quick 
Concealment is 12.6 for a medium tank. That's not too shabby. It's actually pretty good. And my view range is 386, which you're almost up around uh, 400 in a tier 6. So that's pretty darn good. And signal range is pretty well stocked at 757. So if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll be right back with some gameplay. And uh, just hold on a minute. Alrighty, so we find ourselves on Tundra, and uh, the Fury sent me a uh, platoon request, so I joined up with them. And um, looking at what they had on the enemy team, KV-2, 85, M6, a lot of heavies, uh, but they did have a lot of TDs and uh, fast movers, so I figured I was going to go hill and try and help over in that area. Uh, the armor on this is not spectacular, so I didn't want to go over the uh, one line and just sit up there and try to trade shots with people over there because um, I would have just got wrecked and you don't have a big hit point pool with this so you really gotta you know watch what you take for trades and try and protect your hit points as much as you can till the uh, towards the end of the match and you know that way if you gotta take a hit then you're, you've got hit points to spare so I get up here and didn't see anything right off the bat but they got all the fast movers, so I was getting ready for them to zing up to the right. Him for 142. Average damage on this gun is 150, I believe. No, damage is, uh, average damage is 135, so it's a little bit lower roll. Or, no, that was good. I'm sorry, that was uh, 142. That was a 142. That was a good roll. <laughs> Uh, T1 Heavy's got good pen, fast fired gun. I kind of made a mistake there and got out of there kind of quick. I wasn't going to sit there and uh, trade shots with him one for one. That would have just been stupid. I believe he's actually got a faster fire rate than me, but I was watching his turret. But made a mistake there. I was trying to get a quick auto lock shot in there and wasn't working out. <laughs> I didn't realize, uh, here, stupid me, I was still locked. I had it auto-locked on uh, that M6 still, so. Yeah, so that, uh, a little bit retarded on my own part there. Yeah, so that, uh, Largo, I think. That, that, and, uh, Churchill were kind of working me over there. I'm down to 78 hit points, so I knew I had to really start playing safe because um, I did have some stuff behind me. And the reload on this is so nice. And I was using premium rounds, so I was just poking right through the weak spots. But here I'm down to 78 hit points, so I knew that if somebody sneezed my way, they were going to be able to hit me, so I had to play really pretty safe. And you can see I've only bounced one round with this. Just missed that shot in the IK. I was hoping to hit that, but no such luck. And T3045 was tooling off to the right, and I saw that T67. I thought, you know, I might well get some shots on him. Enemy armor is hit. Was able to finish him off. So I'm up to five kills and 1,693 damage. But like I said, I'm down to 78 hit points. Somebody farts near my way and it's going to kill me. So I had to be real careful. It's got decent speed. You know, I'm up to 55, 50, almost 60 kilometers an hour. So I figured I was going to come up this way and work up the valley up on the left side and see what I could come up behind. If I could come up behind the IKV-65, that uh, T-3485. Uh, I'm sorry, he got killed. Um, what else was over there? there was something else that oh the KV2? Uh, he's the guy that said that uh, I was cheating here, and you'll see. Um, not cheating. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, this is getting old. Uh, I, I guess the not being able to chat in game, I kind of miss it because then instead of getting a message after the match, they just bitch, complain, whine, piss, and moan um, during the match and call you a cheater and everything instead of sending you a message afterwards and wasting your time afterwards. But, you know, I'm not going to let somebody sit there and call me a cheater and hacker and stuff. It just, it pisses me off. 
So I spot him, and I just sit here, and I'm behind. It's like, okay, so I've got this bush here, this bush here, this bush here. I mean, there's a shit ton of bushes in front of me, and I'm back plenty, plenty of distance to where I can shoot, and I know I wasn't going to light up. But I still played it kind of safe. I didn't just stand there or sit there because I don't have six cents on this. But he's blind as a bat. And he said he had nods. Well, obviously he's moving. Your nods don't work while you're moving. And they take about four, I think was it four seconds to actually turn on. Well, he's been moving the whole time, so they're not even engaging. So, I don't know why he was bitching saying, oh, I had nods and I couldn't spot you. Well, obviously if you were moving, they didn't even engage. Duh. I don't take a rocket scientist to know that. 38,000 battles that he has. You know, it seems like he'd at least know that much how uh, binocular telescopes works. If he wants to have it where uh, it stays on while you're moving, well, you need to use coded optics. But, yeah, as you saw, I butt-raped him fair and square. And I got uh, messages, and, you know, I'll talk about it after the, uh, in the post-game stats. Um, to let you know what he said and stuff, but... You know, oh my god, I'm just getting sick and freaking tired of these people. Um, I had it yesterday in the IS-7 where a guy said I was shooting through dead tanks. And while I put that one on there as my replay for the IS-7, you can see I was plainly shooting underneath dead tanks. They were right underneath. Slow motion, even sent him a message this morning saying, hey, the, the post, uh, it's up, you know, go ahead and check out my review of the IS-7. You can see where I was shooting under the dead tank. This guy, same thing, I send him a message, and I'll send him one here in a minute, once I get it uh, uploaded to YouTube and say, it's there, go ahead and watch it. You know, you can see that I killed you fair and square, even though he called me a cheater. And then, um, oh, I had one in my uh, Cran Wagon uh, a couple weeks back, and it's it just gets so freaking old. I'm so sick of people accusing me of cheating and stuff. It's just like, you know, if you suck and you get killed, well... Just deal with it. Happens to me. Happened this morning. I got butt raped, you know. But I didn't go around accusing the enemy team of freaking hacking and cheating because I got killed, you know. Bunch of damn fucking cry asses and it's getting freaking old really quick. So anyways, if you want to stick around, I will have the post game stats for you so you can check it out in just a minute. Alrighty, so this was the results of that match. And I'm telling you, I'm batting a million. Uh, yesterday... Um, had a good match. My I, it's every time I have a good match, somebody accuses me of cheating. So yesterday in the IS seven guy had accused me of shooting through dead tanks. Today, uh, literally, it was the first match I had. I was gonna do uh, or I'm gonna I am doing a re review of the VK three zero zero two M tier six medium tank. And um, I'm playing a lot of mediums recently too because I've only got one mission left to get my T fifty five A. And so I've been really trying to push a lot of the mediums. The problem I keep running into is, um, well, like this, I got both their uh, tank destroyers. I did over the damage amount I needed to, but the problem was the tank destroyers were not a tier higher than me. Um, I need them to be one tier higher than me, and i got to kill two of them. I've got to do over 2,000 damage. I need to win the battle, and I need to survive the battle in order to finish that last mission off to get my T-55A. So, anyways, so this mission ended up getting a Master ba um, oh, can't talk Master Ace Tanker badge, a uh, Fire for Effect Bruiser Top Gun, a High Caliber, um, uh, KV2 ended up uh, this Generally speaking, uh, oh, generally speaking, I get it. Uh, anyways, after the match, uh, I got a message from him within minutes, and once again, accused of cheating. I tell you, you know, you, you, you butt rape somebody, and they get so butt hurt. He just, he says, you cheating bastard. And I, and it's just after this happened yesterday and last week, you know, I don't have any mods. I don't cheat. I don't hack. It, I'm a pretty good player, and people get pissed when you butt rape them. So, I was, I was spotting him, and this, the, the, the standard round uh, penetration on this isn't that good so I was shooting straight premium rounds just raped him and killed him and he was all butt hurt and I just said you know laugh out loud uh, would you like a copy of the replay and uh, uh, so and I said so how was I cheating I always offer them a, a copy of the replay I've got all my replays on here if they want it I'm more than happy to provide it to them so they can see that I wasn't cheating um, it's called spotting mechanics and a bush you know uh, which I'm probably going to use this video for uh, part of uh, one of the videos I'm doing for 
uh, trying to teach people how to use bushes in your uh, to your uh, advantage for uh, being able to shoot like a spot, and that's what ha that's what happened here. And he was just bent out of shape. And I so I said, you know, um, uh, would you like a copy of the thing? I said, how was I cheating? Explain because uh, I raped you in the ass, uh, fair and square. I'm a cheater. And he said, pretty much, yep. And uh, I said, give me your email so I can send you a copy of the replay. Uh, I don't need a replay uh, to know you or the game is fucked up, pile of shit, or he's a, just a shitty player. Uh, I said, better yet, uh, you just made my YouTube channel. <laughs> Check out my channel. It's good advertisement, I guess. You know, he'd probably get on here and, uh, you know, hate the video and say I'm a piece of shit, which I really don't care. Uh, and then he said, go for gold, you dumb cunt. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Well, obviously he does because he's been out of shape because I killed him and butt raped him. Uh, I said, why? Because I was shooting you and you could not spot me. It's called spotting mechanics and a bush. Obviously. Uh, I said, learn to play. And uh, he just keeps sending me a message back. It's a load of shit. I couldn't even see you. It's because heavies have no spotting view, no spotting range. There was no enemies around me to spot me. He obviously doesn't know what spotting mechanics are. He has 38,000 battles, and he doesn't know how spotting mechanics work yet. Obviously, he needs to stop playing the game and stick to uh, My Little Pony. Um... And he says, I couldn't even see you with uh, binoculars. Go play with your stuff, you little retard. Yeah, so he was pretty bent out of shape that I killed him. I said, 38,000 battles, your stats suck, and you want to be a seal club, and you're a want to be seal clubber. I looked at his stats, and he did suck, and he is a want to be seal clubber that doesn't know how to do that. Um, stats don't mean fuck all, go for gold, y'all, re rolling faggot. My account's not a re roll. I've got 34,000 battles. And if you look at when it was um, originated, it was back in 2010 or 2011 when the game first came out. It just came out of beta. Um, never had a reroll. This counts uh, the original one. I've had it ever since I started playing tanks. I mean, obviously, I own every tank in the game except for like two or three now. Um, so definitely not a reroll account, especially I've got every one of the premium tanks too. And um, I said, well, stats obviously do count because I raped you. And he says, uh, I couldn't see you. Of course it was rape. It's also all fucking bullshit, and you're a re retarded little wanker. <laughs> I've never been, a, never been called a wanker before. The fuck, what's a wanker? Is that like an asshole? I said, okay, I'm done wasting my time with you. Go watch my uh, YouTube replay. I'll let you know when it's up. And I said, I'm a smiley face. I mean, you know, I've been fucking butt raped. I, I was in my IS-7 match that I had on yesterday. I got freaking killed by my own artillery. I mean, it shit happens. It's called spotting mechanics. If he doesn't know that, uh, look at the range on the I, uh, KV-2. It is blind as a fucking bat. I don't care if you got binoculars, coded optics, and your commander standing on top of your fucking tank. If you don't have an enemy tank on, from, well, him, a friendly tank, near me to spot me, he's not going to outsee me. Plain and simple. I mean, plain and frickin' simple. And, uh, yeah, my view range is 386 stock. I mean, I just outspotted him. Big deal. And he said, go play with your YouTube, you selfie-filled fucktard dick. <laughs> I said, uh, you mad, bro? <laughs> Obviously, he is a little butt hurt. I'm sorry, guys, but this is getting fucking old. Every day or every other day, if I have a good match, this is what happens. I get accused of fucking cheating, hacking, whatever. You know, I, yesterday, I mean, well, actually, today, um, oh, God, I can't remember. I was in, oh, my 3001P. I got three marks of excellence on that, but it's a medium, and I'm trying to run my mediums to get that last mission done, like I said. And I went out and just got ass raped. I mean, I got. Three or four shots off, not a single one of them penned. Uh, 30, uh, T, uh, or uh, 3485 uh, on my own team. It was behind me. I'm going forward. Um, there's four enemy tanks in front of me. I stopped to back up, and this asshole's right on my butt. I can't back up, and I got hit like four times, almost dead, because that butthole was in my way, and I couldn't back up. He just sat there pushing. He was actually pushing me forward when I'm trying to back up. So... You know, but I didn't get all butt rape pissed and uh, send him messages saying, hey, you're an asshole, you got me killed, or send the uh, the enemy team messages after because I was killed fair and square. You know, um, thanks, well, thanks to my own teammate that pushed me out and I couldn't back up. 
you know, I ended up getting just butt raped. But I didn't send the enemy team messages saying, you're a fuck tired, you're a cheater because I got killed. Shit happens. You know, it's a fucking game. A bunch of goddamn crybabies on this game. But anyway, so um, I hit the KV-2 six times, did 719 damage, and uh, knocked out his fuel tank and his driver, killed him. Uh, their KV-85 hit him twice for 210, knocked out his track, killed him. Uh, their T-3485 hit him twice for 268, knocked out his ammo rack and his track. Uh, the IKV-65-2 hit him once for 160. The Churchill-3 hit him three times for 345 and killed him. T-1 Heavy hit him three times for 285, knocked out his track, killed him. Their T-67 hit him uh, twice for 252 and killed him. And their other T-67 hit him twice for... Oh, he must have had not a lot of hit points left. Hit him twice for um, 173. Uh, knocked out his track. Killed him. Um, I made uh, 2,412. Uh, was what I did in damage. Got six kills. My base experience on that was 1,241. I had 26 shots, 23 hits, 21 pens. 2,412 damage. 441 of it was from a distance of more than 300 meters. I got hit eight times, six pen, two bounce, so I uh, blocked 135 damage because this doesn't really have that good of uh, the the hull armor sucks. Turret armor is not bad. Uh, enemy vehicle spotted was three. Uh, I damaged eight, destroyed six, and damage caused to my assistance from tracking somebody was 54. Uh, went 1.62 kilometers, traveled quite a bit. Made 40,337 credits, but after they resupplied the ammo, fixed the tank, and uh, also I used a repair kit, so I got out of the way and didn't take any shots there, so I had to fix my track. Um, I lost uh, 43,972 credits, but that's, that's no big deal. It was actually a real good game, so I was very happy with the outcome, even though I lost a lot of credits. No big deal. Um, <clears throat> but obviously you see with the uh, standard pen on this only being... 135. Um, I was uh, closer to the top tier on this match, so probably could have got away with shooting a lot of standard rounds. But once I got rolling um, and I was doing such, uh, you know, doing really well, I figured I might as well just keep it up with the uh, premium rounds to make sure I pen everything. And um, with the uh, KV2, the KV85, uh, the, the Churchill 3, T1 Heavy, um, probably. The IKV and the 30 or 45, at least in the turret. Um, standard rounds probably wouldn't have gone through those too well. Probably would have bounced a lot of rounds. So premium rounds bumps you up quite a bit. And, well, not even, not really super. You go from 135, or excuse me, uh, 150 uh, pen to 194. Um, I think I said 135 pen a minute ago. I meant 150 was a standard round. That's not bad, but 194 is a lot better and it's APCR. So uh, that's why I stuck with that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you, know, you see what you deal with when you do good against people. They think you're uh, cheating, hacking, and they get all pissy with you. So, Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, ch uh, the uh, video. Uh, if you did, if you could, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you're uh, generally speaking in the KV2, you should subscribe to my channel. Maybe you'll learn how to play. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I'll see you on the battlefield.